hi everyone in this video i am going to continue the previous uh, mass device models which i have started in the previous video see here mass device layout we have seen mass device capacitances we have seen that means what are the different capacitors that are existed in the mass transistor without our influence generally when we are connecting the layers itself to this mass capacitors are existed and in this video i am going to explain the four other mass device models which are a small signal model and spice models and mos versus pmos devices long channel versus short channel devices so this is what we have seen previously now third one mos small signal model what is the use of small signal model small signal model is used to calculate all ac parameters like voltage gain input impedance and output impedance mos small signal model okay this small signal model is very 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 important when we are going to analyze the ac characteristics of the transistor if you take the transistor what is the equivalent transistor equivalent model of this particular mos transistor in the small signal model okay so this is the gate terminal and this is the drain terminal this is the source terminal what are the two important points we should keep in mind when we are going to draw the small signal equivalent model is all dc sources all dc voltage sources all dc voltage sources must be grounded all dc voltage sources must be grounded and the second point is all coupling and bypass capacitors all coupling and bypass capacitors must be short circuited all coupling and bypass capacitors must be short circuited okay these are the two important points we should remember when we are going to transfer this transistor model into a small signal equivalent model small signal equivalent model is also known as ac small signal equivalent model because we are considering only ac sources by short circuiting all dc sources okay uh, okay here in this particular uh, example i am just transforming the transistor alone okay suppose if any other circuit parameters are there those will also come into the small signal model okay see here here we are having a potential from gate to source this potential we are taking it as vgs okay and similarly between drain and source some other potential we are giving which is known as vds drain to source voltage okay so and internally we are having some resistance that is existed from drain to source that is treated as output resistance or internal drain to source voltage resistance we are treating it as rd rd is the internal resistance existed between drain and source we can also call it as output resistance because we are taking we are treating the drain as output terminal okay and gate as input terminal and source is the common between input and output here i am just taking that assumptions and drawing the small signal equivalent model now the input voltage source we are treating it as the three terminals must be shown like this this is the gate terminal this is the drain terminal this is the source terminal so these are the three terminals for our transistor and now the voltage existed between gate and source we are taking it as an open circuit voltage as vgs between gate and source okay and from drain to source we are having a dependent current source 
a dependent current source better you show the shape of this dependent current source in this uh, rhombus because in some textbooks circular representation is also observed but circular representation indicating that it is a in independent it is an independent current source independent current sources are represented in circular and dependent current source are represented in this dependent sources are represented in this rhombus shape so that's why use this shape only okay why it is dependent its value is depending on gm vgs gm vgs see some current is flowing into this drain terminal that is id that is id how we can equate this id is equal to gm vgs see gm is nothing but trans conductance gm is trans conductance output current by input voltage trans conductance trans is nothing but output current by input voltage different uh, terms so id by vgs 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 cancel and this value becomes simply ids so ids is the current flowing this gm vgs is the current flowing in the output terminal from drain to source and i told you one internal resistance is also existed between drain and source so that internal resistance is shown between drain and source this is rd okay you can take it as rd or r not both are same both are same okay this is the vds drain to source okay so this is the small signal equivalent model of a mass transistor in common source configuration okay like this depending upon the configuration and depending upon the extra components that are connected to this transistor we can add accordingly suppose one resistor is there from gate to source that resistor will come from gate to source in this way okay similarly if any resistor is existed between uh, this drain and vdd as according to these two statements all dc voltage sources must be grounded so that uh, resistance is again existed between drain and ground so that resistance will come in parallel with this small rd okay in this way all the extra components were going to add in this circuit by keeping these two points in mind what is this all dc voltage sources must be grounded dc voltage sources must be grounded suppose if vdd we are using in the, in the circuit that vdd should be grounded all coupling and bypass capacitors coupling capacitors are used to eliminate dc eliminate dc signal and bypass capacitors are used to improve the voltage gain okay if you open circuit the bypass capacitor uh, there will be a decrement in the voltage gain if bypass capacity is there then negative feedback will be cancelled and uh, voltage feed, voltage gain may be increased okay this is the small signal equal model of the transistor now coming to this fourth one what is fourth one fourth one is nothing but mass spice models spice models mass spice models so what do you mean by spice what do you mean by spice spice is nothing but simulation program with integrated circuit integrated circuit emphasis okay spice stands for simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis so what are the different <coughs> models that are existed for this spice the simulation program with integrated circuit is nothing but whatever the circuit we have taken in the transistor mass transistor either amplifier or oscillator whatever it is designed with respect to the mass transistor that we can create in that simulation environment and simulate by giving the inputs and outputs okay later the same transistorizer model can be converted into its equivalent layout diagram and so that we can do pre layout and post layout simulation as well all these things can be done with the help of these uh, such spice models so examples for these spice models are 
we can we have like mentor graphics mentor graphics tools and second one um, cadence tools cadence tool synopsis okay like this we have a number of tools are there okay vlsa have enormous number of tools where we can use depending on our convenience whereas some tools like these are very uh, what is that not open source tools these are license based tools definitely we should buy and use we cannot uh, use we cannot go for the open source tools okay so these are used to create transistorized circuit diagrams and simulation simulates with the pre and post layout simulation pre and post layout simulations okay this is the advantage of your mos spice models now let us see fifth one nmos versus pmos devices nmos versus pmos device nmos and pmos both are mos transistors it is n type and it is p type in nmos what do you mean by nmos in nmos source and drain are n type substrate is of p type in pmos source and drain are p type okay this is the difference between these two now in in most cmos technologies pmos devices are quite inferior to nmos transistors pmos devices are quite inferior to nmos transistors for example due to low lower mobility of holes suppose if you are taking the pmos transistor majority carriers are holes if you take this nmos transistor majority carriers are electrons so that sees the reason why we are taking pmos transistor is inferior compared to nmos transistor so for example due to lower mobility of holes due to lower mobility of holes mu p c not x is equal to approximately we can say 0.5 mu n c not x so this yields low current drive and trans conductance okay the pmos transistor is having low current drive yields low current driving capability and output resistance low current driving capability and trans conductance you can also say trans conductance gm okay so moreover for the given dimensions and bias currents nmos transistors exhibit exhibit very higher output resistance opposite is the case with respect to the nmos transistor nmos transistor has high output resistance high output resistance providing more ideal current sources and higher gain in amplifiers ideal current source and high gain so this is the advantage of nmos transistor when compared to pmos transistor if anybody ask you why we are using nmos transistor mostly why not pmos transistor means this is the reason nmos transistor is having high output resistance and it provides high ideal current sources and as well as it gives high gain 
but whereas if you take the PMOS transistor it is very inferior because of the holes and this is the relation between the hole, holes of movement, mobility mobility of holes is very less compared to the electrons and so that it gives a low current driving capability and a low output resistance and as well as trans conductance is also low. Coming to the last one that is long channel and short channel devices long channel and short channel devices so far we have considered all the discussions with respect to the mass transistors by keeping in mind that they are having long channel devices okay so most of our treatment is valid only for the long channel devices example transistors having a minimum length of few microns that is also valid for long channel devices <clears throat> okay so most of our treatment is valid for long channel devices example transistors having a minimum length transistors having a minimum length of a few microns of a few microns many of the relationships that derived here must be re-examined and revised for short channel MOSFETs. Okay, so short channel MOSFETs not generally considered, generally we go for the long channel MOSFETs. All the SPICE models are derived only for this long channel. If we are going to use the SPICE model for the short channel, de short channel devices that we need to re-examine and again design such uh, SPICE models. <coughs> Suppose if you are taking uh, 0.5 micrometer technology, okay, if anybody says you it is a 0.5 micrometer technology or 5 micrometer technology, that 0.5 micrometer indicates the, 0.5 micrometer indicates, indicates length of the channel, length of the channel. Okay, nowadays it may be at uh, 7 nanometer technology, that 7 nanometer technology indicating length is equal to 7 nanometers, that is the meaning of technology. So, the name of the technology is given by length of particular mass transistor. Okay, as long as the length of the transistor decreases, the, uh, the size of the transistor also decreases. Okay, this is what the mass device models. Thank you.